Hi there, this is Rene Rubicata, and welcome to Odonet. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, using Vue.js to create components for your ArcGIS API for JavaScript applications. So what I have here is a very simple component over here in the uh, right hand corner that is just going to show me uh, details about the camera of the view for a 3D scene in ArcGIS API 4. So as you can see here, I start uh, messing around with tilting my camera and it'll show the updated tilt information over here, uh, show the updated heading. Uh, if I were to click the uh, uh, north arrow here to reset, my heading is now zero. And as I start moving around, um, it'll update itself here. So you can do that with Vue.js pretty simply. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to check out uh, Vue.js.org and just go anywhere, check out the Get Started, uh, you can look at the GitHub repo. You have a really nice set of um, documentation to get you up and going using Vue.js. And Vue.js is really, really simple to get up and going. It's basically uh, a templating um, system they have in place where you just write your uh, DOM elements like you normally would and you have a little bit of sugar you can add to it. So you can do things like uh, the first one here. Uh, we have the um, brackets to add in uh, properties that can be bound uh, to this component. And as you update those properties, the component will get updated the DOM, which we can see here in our little demo is updated pretty easily. So I won't go over all the documentation here, but it's pretty simple to go through. It's not very complicated at all, which is one of the reasons that Vue.js is uh, a library that a lot of people like to use. So how does that work? Uh, let's look at the index.html first. The so first thing I did was I installed Vue.js via npm. I uh, just installed it to my node modules folder. Then what I'm going to do is tell the uh, dojo config where to find uh, the Vue library. So that's all this uh, packages code does here is tell it where to find the views. All right. So next thing I'm going to do is I just have my I'm loading my uh, JavaScript API in here. And I have this little uh, bit in here. So what I have here is I have a div. I give it an ID of info. You can see I've given the info padding of uh, 1EM over here, 1M. And I give it a class Ezra widget. And I do that so that it inherits a little bit of uh, uh, what the current widgets already have. And I have a custom element here, uh, camera info, right? So I've got this camera info. And I'm going to use this uh, vbind camera property. Uh, to let it know that to, uh, and we'll see where this comes in uh, on the next uh, bit as well. Uh, I'll show you how this, where this matters here. But I'm basically just telling it, I'm going to bind the camera property to a camera object, and we'll see that in a second. So here's my uh, JavaScript file. So basically, what I'm going to do here is I have, I'm going to create a view component first. So to do, create a custom view component, which is going to be this camera info here. You just do view.component, give it the name for the custom element, uh, which is going to be camera-info uh, properties. So it's going to have a property called camera. And then you provide a template. And this is where the easy stuff comes in. Uh, this would actually look much nicer if I were using uh, TypeScript or ES6. Uh, I wouldn't need to do all the plus signs for the strings. But I just kind of want to give you a, a quick look at how this is built. So I have a div. And uh, Vue.js, the way the components work, is it has to have a, the templates have to have a single element. So it has to be a div. Uh, React works the same way. A lot of other template libraries work the same way. And I'm going to go ahead and have a little, just a H2 here to give you the camera details label. And then I do my binding in here. So I've got the heading bound to camera.heading. And I'm going to limit it to three decimal places. And the same for the tilt, limit that to three decimal places. And that's pretty simple. Now, that just creates the view component, uh, the custom element itself, right? So the next thing I do is after I create the map and I create my scene view, is I'm going to go ahead and create a view uh, component on the page. So I'm going to grab that info component, right, which is uh, this one here. And I'm going to turn that into a view component. Okay, so when I create that view component, I give it the elements, so EL is going to be a CSS selector of info, that's the ID info, and you're going to pass the data to it. The data is going to be the uh, camera from the view. So I'm just going to say camera is equal to view camera, pretty much. Right? And then when I've done that, I actually want to add this as a 
custom widget to my existing uh, view UI. And the way you do that is just view UI dot add. And to get the DOM element that makes up the custom component, it is this dollar sign EL, uh, dollar sign element is going to be that DOM element. So I grab that from the uh, custom view component that I created up here. I'm going to place it in the top right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch for property changes of the camera on the view. And whenever they're updated, I'm just going to say that info.camera is equal to view.camera. And that's going to do the updates for me. And that is what does this here. So let's add a couple more things. There's a little bit more information I can actually get out of the camera. And oops, we can do that by going back to app.js here. And let's add a couple more lines in here. I want the latitude and the longitude. So the actual lat longs of the position of the camera um, in space. All right, so let's go over here. Let's refresh. Actually, I think I got to do a, uh, ah, no, no, there we go. So I went ahead and added the latitude longitude. So this is the position of my camera. And as I move around, you can see the, pos the camera's position uh, will update as I update that position as well. If I were to navigate across the globe, you see the lat long start to update. And that's it, that's pretty simple. That's all it takes to be able to create custom components uh, that you can use inside your ArcGIS API for JavaScript applications. As I said, the Vue.js part, it, it, you can do a little bit more in this. There's a way to do um, listen for events on the actual view components so have like a uh, listen for click events on a button or something and do other things related to it you get custom methods on the view component itself uh, to do certain things but this is a pretty simple introduction uh, to show you how you can create custom components with Vue.js and then add those as widgets to your uh, view inside of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. Thank you.